Hello and welcome to the third and final tutorial. Well, final for now, anyway. I might do some more later. Uh, here we are in version 1.5. I mean, 0.15. There we go. And uh, you can see I've modified the ship a little bit. I've added uh, another engine atop of where the uh, command module used to be. And uh, in this tutorial, uh, I'll uh, just be really just showing you how to get to the moon. Uh, for the most part, this is the exact same ship. Um, that was in version 0.13, uh, the demo, the free version. Um, with exception for in this new version, this is the paid version, which if you made it this far into orbit, you should go ahead and buy the game because it's awesome. Uh, I've got a smaller um, liquid fuel tank, a smaller engine, and some landing gear over here. So, if you want to get to the moon, that's what this tutorial is about. Um, you want what you're gonna want to do is first of all get yourself in a nice flat uh, orbit equal with the equator of the uh, of Kerbin here and that'll either be to 270 the heading of 270 or a heading of 90 um, you can get to the moon either way and uh, there's advantages and disadvantages of going both uh, either way so going to 270 requires less fuel but it's it takes a little bit longer to get there and to get to the moon. Um, don't worry about that either. That's a new feature if you have version uh, 0.13. Um, so if you go to 270, you uh, it takes less f fuel and it takes longer. If you go to the heading of 90, which is the opposite of 270, um, you can get there faster takes more fuel to get there um, and the trick to doing it right is um, uh, when you go to the heading of 270 you watch for the mun to set over the earth or the kerth goodness so you wait for the mun to set over the kerth and as soon as the mun starts going behind the kerth go full blast full speed to 270 watch your map and your orbit will go out 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 and it'll get right out of round in line with the orbit of the mun and so this way basically the mun is going this way it sets and you basically f launch yourself out here and you kinda just wait around for the mun in its orbit to catch up with you where you are now when you're going the other way to 90, the heading of 90 degrees, um, when the MUN rises, you'll be going the opposite direction. So the MUN will rise over the Kerth. That's when you uh, uh, go full blast to 90, uh, to the heading of 90 degrees. It takes less, I mean it takes more fuel, but you get there faster. I always just go to 270 because I don't like wasting fuel when I could just go to 270. <laughs> so that's the way I go. Uh, and then just watch your map. Uh, your um, your orbit will get higher and higher and higher, and then it'll get right around where the mun is. Hit X. That'll stop your. Uh, that'll cut your thrusters, and um, then you'll be in uh, on your way to orbit the mun. So I'm actually going to fire mine a little bit more here, line myself back up to 270. Launch them. Ooh, there we go. Kind of want to be waiting for it out there, so uh, if you go down up here, this uh, little drop down, you can actually warp time depending on um, if you're far enough away from the surface of uh, planets. Uh, more moons. Whoop. There we go. 
a little faster and this is a feature in 0.15 where you can actually see the uh, future trajectories it's uh, it's kind of cool so there we are now the Mun we are in the uh, gravitational pull of the Mun and it's getting closer while we are just kind of floating out here it's actually catching up to us yeah speed up time a little bit get really close uh. okay so there it is the Mun uh, I don't know where the uh, I don't know where Kerbin is I think I was calling it Kurth earlier it's not Kurth it's Kerbin so uh, now that you're at the moon what you want to do is flip your spaceship around uh, facing this uh, green circle with the X through it and the uh, triangular lines coming out of it uh, put this dot right in the middle of that dot hit T for your SIS so it'll stay there fire your boosters and slow your ship down because orbiting the Mun takes a lot less speed than orbiting the uh, carbon so you can see our trajectories coming down here orbit make sure we're still facing the right way and boom goes the dynamite we're now in orbit around the Mun now for the 0.13 users the demo users um, this is pretty much all you can do uh, when it comes to the Mun is orbit it you can you can land on it it's really hard without mods um, because you don't have landing gear but if you I mean it's like $15 to pre-purchase this game come on you need to buy it so you can get some sweet landing gear and smaller fuel tanks so you don't have to land this giant ball of fuel tanks and engines and RCS stuff because when you're landing on the moon and leaving the moon you don't really need uh, that much thrust because the gravity is so low so speed up time I'm gonna get kinda low here maybe I'll shoot for this crater Let's see go back in let it load oh it is loaded alright and we need to slow down a little more when you do bring your uh, ship to the moon and you want to land um, you really want to use you don't want to use any of the fuel that you're going to be you you want to save this final little bit of fuel for as long as possible so you want to burn all the fuel that you have everywhere else before you use this fuel because uh, even though you it's pretty simple getting off the moon mun um, you know better safe than sorry when it comes to fuel so let's see we'll go down 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 okay that's good and now we'll point our ship north yeah this is north okay point our ship north line it up fire engines wanna go in that crater and uh... that's pretty good right there speed time up a little bit there's the crater now there's no atmosphere on the moon mun both of them actually <laughs> either or so to burn any speed you have to do it with your engines there's no atmosphere to slow you down no air resistance so you have to flip your ship around RCS comes in real handy at this point 
flip it around. The dot and the dot. All day, every day. Fires the missiles. And I'm basically gonna burn all my orbital speed right now. And try to just get headed straight down to the surface. I only have three tanks of fuel left. Four tanks, looks like, actually. So. Alright. there. That's, a, that's pretty good. Burn some more speed. Burn. Try to get it going straight down. And at. I'm watching that green dot down there. So, now we're going pretty much straight down. We'll just ride this out. Make sure your ship is pointed in the direction that you need to stop because you get the moon comes pretty fast if you're not paying attention. So I'm just gonna speed up time a little bit. Get a little lower to the ground. I'm going 100, 100 meters a second. All right, we're about 5,000 meters off the ground now. That's about 50 seconds away from death. Or, yeah, that's right. Something like that. Ten. I don't know. Alright. Burn some of the speed. Burn some of the speed. Also, this is... there is. I guess there's a sea level on the moon. Uh, because the mountains... You know, you have to account for the mountains and uh, terrain on the moon. This is not where the surface is. You really have to watch for it. And, uh... Pay attention, really. Pretty much going straight down now. Oh goodness, oh goodness. I think I'm close. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Shouldn't have picked the crater. It's like really hard to see the ground. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Slow her down. Slow her down. Simmer down now. Alright, alright. All right, we're going to do one last burst of speed. All right, cut the engines, and we're going to leave that little bit behind. I don't want to associate myself with that big hunk of junk anymore. Ah, okay. Don't have SIS anymore. This is where it gets hard. Hit G to put the landing gear down. Oh, boy. This is it. I haven't done this many times, so I'm kind of nervous. All right, a little bit of speed. Little, oh gosh, oh gosh, it's coming fast. <laughs> okay, all right, MLG, MLG. <laughs> all right. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Is it? Ah! <laughs> cut, cut the engines. Yes. And there you go. <laughs> it's easy. Oh look, some of the ships survived. <laughs> no way. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Well, uh, that's how you get to the moon. Mun. I am on the moon. Check that out. Almost in the middle of the crater. Ooh, I could probably see. Where is it? <laughs> I forgot how to. Ah, there it is. There is Kerbin. Look, they're they're kind of happy. Yeah, they're happy. Nope. Oh, yep. Nope. Yep. Okay. So, getting back is pretty simple. Basically, full throttle. Since there's no atmosphere, you don't even have to uh, get above any atmosphere. You can just basically just point your way to get it in line with a good orbit. And uh, I'll just fast forward this part because it's basically full throttle all the way back home. <laughs> And there we are. 
three Kerbinaz safe back on Kerbin. That's where we just were, pretty much. Right in that dot right there. Right in that crater. That was good. Landing gear survived. They're tough. Anyway, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this three-part tutorial. Uh, and I hope you build a lot of really cool ships. And if you do, let me know. <laughs> all right. See you later.